I think he's just a really cool dude. Like he's awesome. Season, he's definitely you know, taking me in solid where I would feel like I need to be process. going. We needed Physical someone just to push me to that next just level. Made me faster and stronger. So. I became a coach in motocross because one thing is how much effort and work I put into it. So why not give back to our sport with experience? Take your time coming in so you can exit out really fast. What? And look up, okay? And bring that chest forward. Look up, look up, look up. On a normal day at the track, what I try to do is I try to cover everything. You know, because one thing is you need to have good technique. Well, another thing is you need to have speed. Another thing, you need to have fitness. So we start out with about 20 minutes of riding. Okay, I'm gonna have you do a 20 minute moto, but we're gonna keep it at about 85%. 85% so you're working on your imbalances. You're working on the things that are holding you up. So they go out there and they ride and they work on their feet and this and this. Each one has a different problem. After that, then we go and we do six two lappers. So depending on the track, it can be a long time or a short time. So we're working on starts and we're working on speed and then I will coach them every time they come in and tell them about line selection, technique, whatever it is, even mindset. Hey, your mind's wandering, this and that. Don't hunch coming in the corners, you're hunching a lot. These are exit machines, not entrance machines, okay? Right, bring them up and then bring your foot up. And then after we're done with that, then we'll do usually a 20 or 30 minute moto, depending on who I'm working with, to work on the, the fitness side of it. And so we never put the sprints after that because you always wanna do it when you're fresh. So again, once we're done, we've hit every aspect of what motocross is, is asking, you know? One technique, two speed, and three fitness. And so we get a good quality day after, you know, out of that, that's our day. He's been helping me out big time, just, you know, in the gym and on the bike. Started doing better in the gym and on the track, and it just kind of helped me overall. He was a really, really big inspiration and help for me to keep progressing me. It's pushed me from that level from being a mid-pack 80 rider down in Utah to a national champion. You know, I can't thank him enough. He's, you know, got me to where I am now, and, you know, I'm, I'm a lot stronger and a lot faster on the bike than I was last year, so. If I don't challenge myself, how do I progress myself? And so there's a lot of people that are teaching that don't ride anymore, or that hasn't ridden in 10, 10 years, and the bikes have changed so much. To me, you have to keep up on your game to keep up with the new styles of riding and the new styles of bikes. To me, it's very, very important very important. And if I challenge myself, I progress myself. If I progress myself, well then I progress my students. And the other thing too is I, I believe I was born with a gift, a gift to teach, a gift to coach, to dissect things, to, to explain things very easily and simply. So sometimes I feel that I'm a better coach, teacher, as I am a doer, as a writer. So again, everybody has their roads and this is my road to, to, to my life.